He said in the chat he's still fi fixing his liver. So uh, he liver. He's eating the liver yeah. of upper state? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> cooking, cooking the liver of upper state prophet. I hope they will not have his liver, man. That, uh, liver? Uh, I'm, I'm cooking beef liver, man. And it's not turning out good. Anyways, so I looked up at the uh, Quranic uh, dictionary and uh -huh. it says the word means planning. Mean what? Planning? That's false. You see, this is why well, it's actually the uh, scholarly document. My friend, those scholars are a big fat liars. What scholarly document? You know, you, you, uh, you said dictionary. What dictionary is that? Says that there's no. Okay, dictionary. go to. There, uh, I can. My friend, okay, okay, my, let me, my let friend, me post my friend, the, the. There is no. There is no dictionary will say such a statement. That is a lie. Those are not dictionary. Okay, what if Hold I, on, let me. This is a, I will give you. I will official. give you. I will give you a dictionary. Here we go. Meaning. Let us see. I will give it to you Arabic English. Open this link with me. This is a dictionary. This is English Arabic, and this is owned by Muslims, run by Muslims, and have all the Islamic dictionary Arabic. And tell me what it says there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, what you what you sent me in there, it says deception and um, just cunning and stuff like that. Yeah, like in a negative yeah. way. So it's deception. This is why, if you trust that Allah cannot deceive you, you are a fool. You know, this is why the same word, the Quran use it for the one, the good and the bad. Which mean, so it says like makaru wa makar Allah, wallahu khairul makreen. So they did makar, they did deceive, and Allah did makar, and Allah khairul makirin. Chapter 3, verse number 54. So if the first word is a plan, that means that the spirit was planned. But this is not really what happened. The spirit was did deceive. And uh, there's no Jesus, by the way, here in translation says Jesus. This is. No, the word Jesus doesn't exist. But Allah, He did makar, and Allah is the best of deception. So, Here's the thing, man. Uh, one word can have different meanings, don't you? No, so? no, no, no. Not no, th this is what it is. I, I understand that one word can have a, a thousand meaning, but the word makar always. You don't say the word makar in to anyone about something good. It's about something evil. If somebody is smart, we say he's smart. In Arabic, we say dhaki. We don't say makkar. So as an example, we say athalabul makkar. Athalabul makkar, which means the, the fox, the deceiver. So the des description here... For, what? Mak huh? Makaran. Yeah. So the, the fox, he deceive, he's a smart. But his, his, his intelligence in a, in a deception way. Like an example, once I was uh, hunting with a bunch of friends and we shot at the fox. Then one of us went to grab him. The fox, he lay down on the ground as if he's dead. Totally dead, he did not move him. And when he arrived so close to him to grab him from his tail, the fox jumped and started running like crazy. And now we cannot shoot at the fox because our friend is between us and between the fox. So the fox, I witnessed truly that when they say in kids' story that the fox is smart, absolutely is smart, very smart. But the smart of the fox is to deceive you, not to guide you. This is why the word makr never used in a positive way. Same time, if we go and see all the verses, you will see the word here, the disbelievers, it says here they made a plan. 
Is the DC is the disbelievers' plan against Jesus? Is it a good plan? Yeah, what you said, uh, the deceivers plan here, against here Jesus. supposedly this is a this is a plan of the Jews against Jesus. Is that a good plan? Uh, no, it's not a good plan. So why they are using the word plan? This is not a plan. This is not a plan. It can't be a plan. It is a mucker. And here what says wa makaru. So that those people they did makar. And Allah did makar. And Allah, the best of who do makar. <laughs> so how this is the plan? So, kind of, so you would say it's like a trans would be like conspire. It, it, yeah, it's a plotting in a very ugly way. Like it's evil. You know. Yeah. Uh, all the verses where the word makar is coming, you will see it. Is about evil. Like here, uh, uh, a Pharaoh, he says, Do you believe? How dare you to believe in him before I give you permission? This is must a conspiracy. Do you see the word conspiracy? Where? Where? Here in the chapter. Do you see my screen? Uh, my screen is not shared. Sorry, it's uh No, it's not. Yeah, because I crashed. I, I thought still they are seeing it. All right. What about now? Yeah, yeah, it's there. Oh, here the word makar. You saw? Mo, uh, uh, Pharaoh, he said, this is a makar. Makar too. He repeated again. You did it. You did makar. What is the translation saying? This is must a conspiracy you did conspiracy, not the de 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 devised. So, is that a positive thing or evil thing when we say conspiracy? Yeah, I mean, if you're a conspire, it's not normally yeah. So, something good. So, conspiracy yeah. is a false translation still because makar here is about using, you are being evil, smart and evil, doing an evil plan. This way it is. And this is appear all over the Quran. However, there is something more, way more powerful to explain it to you easier. What the word awaitani mean? Do you know? What 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 is it? The word awaitani. Do you know what the word awaitani mean? No, no. You misled me. I know, actually. You misguide me. You mis before. You misguide me. You misguide me. You deceive me. You mislead me. You lured me. All those in Muslim translation. But awaitani, uh, al-ghuwaya, is an act of evil that someone deceive you in a very horrible way. Like, you cannot explain how bad it is. <clears throat> so who is the one who was misled by Allah? Shaitan. Do you see it? Chapter 7, verse number 16. So if Shaitan himself was misled by Allah, then who is the source of all evil? Are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm just uh, so if, if, So I'm asking I'm thinking you, like, uh, if shaitan is misled by Allah, misled and misguided, in fact, the word ruwaya mean, you know, he caused him to be a very evil, cause him. He's the reason for it. I'm just so showing you all, I'm showing you all the translation. I'm showing you all the possible translation Muslims have. In fact, all of them, they are lying. But still, I will show you as many as I can. So you can see and witness with your own eyes that according to Islam, look at this one. Shaitan, he said, Iblis, he said, now for thee, perverting me. 
Who makes shaitan pervert? Allah. But here, okay, I have a question. In Christianity, who controls Satan? Satan, he is a, he have a free will. It's not it's not controlled. No, to all of us. And the the Bible says the sun will rise upon the evil and the good. And then the day of judgment sure. will come. So Satan is not the one working for God. However, in your religion, Satan works for God. So if you go, actually the same chapter, if we read the same chapter, you will see here Allah. I have another question. I, 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 I understand, like uh, Islamic theology. So in Christian theology, who, uh, so uh, is God dominion over everything, including Satan, or is it, is he... When we not say really when we easy. say God of control, which means nothing can go out of, of God control, but still we have a free uh, will. Every one of us, including Satan, Satan, remember, was an angel. God did not create Satan. Correct in Christianity, God. Yeah, but not, God knew that he will turn. No, 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 no. This right. is not about this. Is not, this, is not a, this is not about you. You know, this is not not to go to new. Uh, uh, God, he created angel. Angel, he decided to disobey. That means there's a free will. Otherwise, God can destroy Satan immediately and the, the problem is over, you know. But there is a free will and that's why there is a day of judgment and then everyone, he goes where he belongs. But in the Quran, it says uh, uh, here, if we go here actually, we use the word awaitani again. You will see here, it says the following in chapter 15, verse number 39. Shaitan, he worship Allah. And he is obedient to Allah. And he do the command of Allah. And the proof in front of you. Satan responds, said, oh my do God. I see you. Oh. I'll hit you 39. Hold on. Give me one more. I'm not sharing the screen on YouTube. Sorry, guys. Okay, let me do it. Give me a second. <clears throat> All right, now you will see it. Give me a minute. Are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm reading the uh, context. All right, so who is the one who worship Allah? Shaitan. Who is the one who obey Allah? Shaitan. In fact, here, Allah and Shaitan, they made an agreement. Shaitan, he obey Allah, call him, oh my God, because you deceive me, not for I mean, if you. Yeah, or, if you read the context, like the previous verses, it says that God, like it, it's kind of like a challenge. As God uh, allowed him to, to like he, he, God could have destroyed him on the moment, but he actually allowed him to because he was gonna go astray anyway. So God allowed him. No, to, no, to no, live, no, no, he, no, no. He's not. You going. Just read the, the no, few no, no. Verses. You see, yeah, yeah. I, I read the verses, my friend. The verse is so clear. The verse, the Muslim translation is absolutely false. And this is why I feel sorry for you because you are reading translation which is false. And this is why you come with your your, your weird con conclusion. First of all, you will see the deception of Allah in the chapter. Allah, He create He told the angels, "I will create someone, a man, from mud." The angels they say to Him. Are you going to create someone who will do mischief in earth? <laughs> Allah, he commanded the angels to bow down to Adam. But then, shaitan did not bow down. But the angels are not one of the, shaitan is not one of the angels. And this is how Allah deceived shaitan. He gave command to the angels, then he get angry from shaitan. So Allah is not even fair. He did not say, 
angels and uh, uh, shaitan he have nothing to do with the conversation the angels is the one who uh, accuse Adam of doing mischief man so why Allah is commanding shaitan to bow down to Adam is he the one who accuse him of anything no shaitan is out of the conversation correct and so what the story goes is that he was an angel but after he disobeyed God he was what <laughs> He was an angel in, in your religion. That Shaitan yeah. was an angel. I mean, because God is asking angels, right? No, no, so no. Asking I'm asking angels, you in your angels. religion. In your religion, Shaitan was an angel. Yes, that's false. Shaitan is made of genie, he's a genie, and he is made of fire. Here, if you read, you see, this is why I feel sorry for the Muslims, they don't know their religion. So, and we say to the angels, bow down to Adam. They bow down, except Iblis. He refused, and he was, you know, one of the kuffar. But how kuffar? He did not do anything. He said to the angels, he is not an angel. And then, in the same time, in different verse, you will see this. Let me show a different verse. Because the Quran is a very stupid book, and the story is all over the place. Uh, so... Uh, if you go to the verse uh, chapter 15 verse number 29 and chapter 38 verse number 72 and this is the funny about the Quran you cannot find the story of one person in in one place uh, so here when when uh, when Allah supposedly uh, talking about the creation you will notice here it says that and the jinn created before of a fire flaming jinn is from fire angels are created from light they are not the same shaitan is a genie so iblis he refused to bow down uh, you know uh, and the Allah he asked him why you don't bow down to uh, hey, Iblis? Why you don't bow down to Adam? He said, I would never bow myself before a moral whom thou hast created of a clay, of mud molded. And then Allah cursed him. So, why Allah wanna, you know, curse him for refusing to worship a man or to bow down to a man? And especially, he did nothing wrong. Iblis, he did not accuse Adam of anything. He is one of the jinn. He is not one of the angels. And then Allah is asking him why you don't bow down. But he did not even command him to bow down. He said, angels bow down. He is one of the jinn. I have a question. I have a question. <laughs> okay. I was watching a, 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 a priest. So that is name. But he was talking about demons in Christianity. Do you think they are a fallen angel? Genie are not demons. Genie are creatures who have a physical body. They can be invisible according to Muhammad, but they eat, they have sex, they sleep even with Muslim women, uh, they lick their private part, uh, they have intercourse with Muslim women, especially if they sleep in their, in their, in their stomach. Uh, they even sleep with Muslim men if they sleep in their stomach. Uh, they sh share with you the food in your fridge. Uh, uh, Muhammad, he said, uh, don't bring me bones because those are the feet of the the food of the genie and Allah place uh, 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 You know he cover each time they eat the bones Allah he cover it again by meat so they can eat it So genies are not demon demon in Christianity are a spirit They are not a physical being they don't go have sex and eat Genie in Islam is just a fiction story about something oh, demons Hmm? Demons possess people, don't they? Yeah, but they don't have a physical body. This is why they can possess. But genie, <coughs> genie. Yeah, like, but uh, yeah. So the the priest he was explaining, he said they can bend light. They can, you know, like he was talking about some box. It had a music playing inside. He said that was a demon doing it. So if he don't have a physical my, body, my, he my friend, my my, 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 friend, my friend. I don't know who is this priest, but obviously he's an idiot. Don't give me those stupid things. What demon have to do with music box? This is he's silly. a priest. 
I don't care as a priest. I said, don't care. Who care? Don't give me those stupid things. You know, priest, uh, I don't know if you are even telling a true story or not. But there are stupid people. They say stupid things. Demon, YouTube. my friend, who cares if you... So what if in YouTube he said that suppose he is saying the truth? There is many uh, donkeys. There is, no, there, there is, there is, Mus there there is Muslims. There is Muslims. They say all kinds of stupid things about uh, uh, somebody as a Muslim. He is possessed. They beat the women. They beat the hell of her to get the demon, the supposedly the genie out of her. But all of this is stupid because Muhammad never spoke of these things. Never. All those is a fabrication of the Muslims. Either they are following Islam or you are following your own stories. So the Muslims are very confused. When they want, they are they believe in demon. When they want, they believe in genie. But do you believe in demon or in genie? A demon, because he is an evil spirit, what he can possess easy because he just go within you. A genie, he go within you doing how he can do that. He is not a spirit. He eat, he drink, he piss, he he have a penis. <laughs> you know? Even if I go right now and search, just to show you what you Muslims believe, all the fictions you have. So, if we search right now, uh, sex with genie. Sex with genie. We will find tons of Muslim websites speaking about sex. Uh, 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 Muslims believe in that genie can have sex with them and they explain even how it's done so if we open this website let's show you here <clears throat> why they believe in this because simply it is very Islamic I am married for 24 years my marriage has been uh, one of that I can be happy about my argument about uh, 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 argument have uh, filled my marriage about four years ago my wife start changing I have noted that she would be sexually aroused I have not seen before which I have not seen before in her sleep and when I am uh, I awake her she is angry with me I need your help since my marriage heading for divorce she thinks I am crazy when I discuss this with her. Answer. No cheese. Okay, hold on. But let's go to the to the cheese of the topic. It says here. He is giving you the, the the reference. The truth is that it is possible for a human being, engine to have intercourse. A Thalabi mentioned in his tafsir that that meaning. Uh, 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 be O Iblis, partner with their human being. This is the chapter on the Quran. In worth in their children. So the Quran says that Iblis, Shaitan, he come partner with Muslims in their children and in their worth. How? By having intercourse with Muslim women. And then here it says, and this is Tafsir, and this is the reference, uh, 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 Ibn Jarir, Al Tabari, etc. Tafsir Al Tabari. Then narrated from Mujahid, he said, when a man has intercourse with his wife, and does not name this is Muhammad by the way talking and does not name Allah the jinn coils around his or, uh, orta uh, 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 orthra and has intercourse along with him and that is meaning of his saying the most high Allah said who am ever a man nor a genie touch before them so those women who they are in heaven Allah promise you that genies did not do intercourse with them yet because when, uh, genie, uh, they have intercourse with Muslim women everywhere, especially when they are asleep, as the guy he mentioned is in his, uh, in his uh, question. Uh, now he's trying to explain to him that your wife, obviously she is having intercourse with a very nice genie who is good in bed. Uh, and then here they are quoting for you, Ibn Abbas, uh, he mentioned, etc. Uh, they are the sons, the, the Mukhannathun, the, the feminine, they are the sons of jinn. Allah and his messenger forbid that a man who uh, have intercourse with his wife during her menses when he does shaitan is there before him and then when she get a breath net will give birth to a feminine person you know funny stories as you see but all the, 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 the those stories here is about 
having sex with genies, you know, having sex with a human being, Muslim having sex with genie. So you Muslims believe that genie is a physical being. Oh, I do not believe. You have to believe. It's not up to you. The Quran says so. I mean, this, what you just posted, of course, is completely stupid, idiotic. But this, but this is the Quran. The Quran says, My friend, even your prophet said that what he caught for you here about shaitan, he around himself around the penis. This is what your prophet said. He can search right now. This is your prophet saying that if you don't say a certain prayer, shaitan, he will share you with you, your wife. I remember once actually, a Muslim guy, it was a Muslim sheikh, he came to a chart room, Christian chart room. Uh, he is very filthy, you know, he have a long tongue. And he come, he take the mic, each time he take the mic, he says, Christian uh, people, you are the children of shaitan. Now those Christians do not know what he's talking about. He thought just insulting, but the fact he was mentioning this. So the admin in that chat room, he said, uh, Christian, can, can you please talk to this guy? I didn't know what to say to him. I mean, this time he go, and you know, I'm just sitting, I'm just laughing. So uh, he said, he, I beg you, please, just take the microphone. Do, just, do, because he's annoying. So I took the microphone and I said to him, are you sure this hadith is very authentic? He said, absolutely. Absolutely. I said, you swear by Allah, are you sure? Absolutely. I asked him for a third time. The guy, he said to me, what's wrong with you? I said, just to you, absolutely, I'm very sure. I said to him, based on this, as long as shaitan will do intercourse with the wife of somebody he is not a believer, who don't pray to Allah. That means your prophet himself is a son of shaitan because neither his mother or his father, they were Muslims or believers. And he starts crying on the microphone, cursing me, may Allah kill you. May Allah destroy you. You have a smart like shaitan, but evil in your heart. May Allah make a train go over you. He was start, he started crying, literally. Because he'd been destroyed. And he never said that statement again to those Christians. Never mentioned it. This is how stupid Muhammad is. When Muhammad mentioned this, that when you have intercourse with your wife, if you don't say the prayer, shaitan, he round himself around your, the penis of the Muslim man. Did Muhammad forget that he himself is a son of a pagan father and pagan mother? How stupid Muhammad is. If you yourself, like, uh, yeah, what? Do you understand, my friend, what I'm saying to you? Well, like I said, uh, this, of course, the story sounds ridiculous. That, like, uh, you know, um, for to, well, to but make this is what, pregnant, but this is what your uh, prophet said. You see, they are giving you reference there. I mean, do you see the reference? The tafsir, the etc., the Quran. This is not a joke. And this is why we love at Muhammad. This is why we reject Muhammad. Muhammad is, is a very stupid person. He's just insulting himself. By saying this statement, he himself is a son of shaitan. Because the one yeah, who don't say I mean, the prayer, of yeah, the one who don't say the prayer before intercourse of his shaitan, he round himself around the man penis. So now he become like a condom. <laughs> and why shaitan want to do that? I mean, this is just a silly, stupid thing. I mean, what the heck is that? And how shaitan is going to make the baby his baby now? Like he, he would have orgasm? Yeah, yeah, but this is your religion. And, what's, uh, and what, uh, what did the woman do to deserve this? To have a exactly. Queen not queen not, only, not only that. I mean, there's tons of stories. Like a guy, he opened the door. He found his wife. Uh, vagina is catching in fire. The sheikh, he told him, obviously she's having sex with genie. I mean... How? Why the pubic area of a Muslim woman is catching in fire? <laughs> why? It's a genie because the genie is made of fire, brother. The genie is made of fire. So when he have intercourse with her, he make a spark, and her pubic area is so dry, so she catch in fire. Other Abdul, he says, when I open the door to my, if, if you read this website, they will die, you will you will die laughing. He opened the door. He saw his wife touching herself. And instead of saying the, the idiot, you know, he's being an idiot. He's not doing his job. So his wife is horny. So she is masturbating, obviously. Instead of understanding that he should do something, you know, <laughs> he think that genie is doing that to her. And the sheikh, he confirmed. He says, brother, you need to read Quran, chapter Al-Kursi, upside down. And, uh, you know, burn uh, Bakhur. 
you know, those things you burn it, like what they call it in English, I forgot. So uh, uh, all of this, instead of saying to him, you know, obviously your wife is horny, sleep with her. Yeah, he needed Viagra instead. <laughs> so you see, this is why I say to you, uh, you know, if you are looking for a truth, this is a this is a silly, stupid religion. And if Muhammad is the one who said those things, I mean, who in the world can cover up for Muhammad now? Can you? I mean, uh, I, I, I don't normally go to the, to uh, hadiths because of these stories. But this is the Quran so, too. You see, the Quran says "Sharikum." What's the words? The Quran. Seventeen sixty-four. Yeah, uh, you can read Tafsir seventeen sixty-four. You can read Tafsir twenty-two, uh, two forty-eight. They are giving you the reference. Okay, okay, I will uh, read it, and you can take the next caller. I gotta read about this. Uh, to be fairly honest, I didn't know much about the uh, jinns and you know what they do. The jinn, first, I believe first of all, the demons. First of all, the idea of a genie, you know, uh, is obviously stolen from the Persian. Uh, the there's legions about genies in many uh, all the stories before Islam. Uh, like as an example, the sto the stories of uh, one thousand night and night. Those stories are there's no author for them. Those stories are exist. The people they uh, they tell them for generations to generations, and then somebody one day collect them in a book. But uh, but those stories about genie in the bowl, flying carpet. All of those you find them in the Quran, and all of them. You're trying to tell me. Are you trying to tell me that basically, Prophet Muhammad collected stories like fiction stories and made it into Quran? That's what you're trying to say. I'm not saying that the Quran can say that. Read carefully with me. Isn't it? This is what the Arab they keep saying to Muhammad. The Arab, the first thing they notice that th this guy is telling us the stories we know. The legions, and they say clearly, Asatir. Asatir in Arabic means the legions and the fairy tales. And look how many times. Chapter 6, verse number 25. Chapter 8, verse number 32. Chapter 16, verse 24. Chapter 23, verse number 83. Chapter 25, verse number 5. Chapter 27, verse 68. Chapter 46, verse number 17. And you will notice here they say that we know that the story is this is a story we learn from our our you know ancestors our fathers. We grew up with those stories. We heard them before. Those are fairy tales. Fairy tales. Can you read chapter twenty-seven as an example? What does it say? Unnamal. Indeed, we were promised this, and we. And our forefathers before our early days, nothing but tales of ancients. See? Everything he said to them, they heard it before. It's just the stupidest stories. And the Arab did not believe in this garbage. But the sword of the gang of Muhammad, everybody believe who they, who they are to question. No? But as you see, they keep laughing at it. What is this? This is uh, fairy tales. Flying carpet of Suleiman, flying horse of Suleiman, the ring of Salomon, the penis of Salomon. Uh, 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 the talking ant you know if you go right now search the book it's called the legion of the jews the legions of the jews i know i i, I read it i mean uh, like uh, the story of uh, alexander the great actually it matches with with so but, but that's the it's okay let's let, let's say you know these are fairy tales and so like you say why how come islam promotes certain you know like the family values and stuff better than other religions my friend you are absolutely demolishing yourself by saying that i remember when i was a kid i went to visit a kid in my age he's a muslim he come to my house i go to his house uh, once i was playing with him in his house and he said the effort to his brother I said to him, you stupid. He said the F word to his mom. I said, why you say that to your mom, you stupid? Isn't it, isn't it your brother? He said, yeah, but he's from different mother. Is that the family value? Melty wives, the women, they hate each other. 
they teach hate against uh, between the kids the father die one day the kids kill each other for the sake of money literally they kill they shoot each other this is Islamic community a man he lied to the wife he's allowed the wife lying to her husband it's allowed and you are telling me this is a family value a man he married a child a child became a victim of a man and you are telling me uh, this is a family value what is the family value yeah in my in like uh, the communities here in the US the, my uh, friend, Muslims any, commu the any community in the world is 1000 even a community of gays is better than Muslims don't fool yourself I assure you that a gay is more honest than any Muslim sheikh even those oh, even you, those yeah. my friend even those who fornicate with each other they will get so upset if one of them he lied to each other in Islam you are allowed to lie to your wife how that work how that is a value how that will make a better family in Islam you can beat your wife how that will make a better wife a better husband what about your son he watched you beating your wife is that is that what uh, what what the family is about how the son he see his mother she is being beaten by his father what the impact of that what the so impact want, what uh, the impact of the you daughter? Want your wife. huh but but women usually like dominant men so my friend you know, this is absolutely false this is absolutely false being dominant is about being a man not being being a donkey dominant man is uh, my dad he never bit my bit bit my my, my mother never well my dad didn't beat any my mom or anybody in my family ever beat the okay but you said now. women they liked so did, did your mom she asked you beat me so i can respect you is that no, what you're no, saying no, I'm, not, I'm not talking about, I'm, I'm not talking about beating my i'm saying being dominant being like no being man of being family, dominant of this family. is uh, secondly the idea of being dominant is a very silly and very stupid and i will tell you why because respect is something you earn is not something you force because if I force somebody to respect me, obviously he don't respect me. Obviously, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not talking about beating no, or dominant, dominant, um, dom harassing. Yeah, but, yeah. but you see, but you are the one who mentioned it when we spoke about beating. You did not mention it usually. You did not mention the word until I said the the, the, the Quran teach you to beat your wife. So you connected the word beating the wife with the word dominant. It's you who did that, not me. So. A man, I, I said it after you mentioned no, it. Like uh, a man, what I was trying because you were talking about gays being better than Muslim men. For sure, they are better. One million. They, they, first of all, Islam promote homosexuality in heaven. So why well, you are well, you are better in any way? Same time, what is the penalty in Islam for somebody is a homosexual? The Quran says, "Beat them with sandals. If they repent, forgive them." But the punishment for fornication in Islam is beating them 80 lashes. So how somebody fornicate with the women, we, be, we whip his back 80 times or 100 times. And then somebody, he's a man sleeping with a man and we beat him with sandals. How that work? What is exactly the religion we're talking about? So based on this, the one... Uh, who is doing homosexual act is not doing an uh, ugly stuff as someone having sex with the women otherwise there is no way you know uh, this God will come with such a thing the punishment should be severe for the for the severe crime not the opposite you understand yeah, I understand. I mean, yeah, I, I would. No, I'm not saying beating your wife is. No, I'm actually. I, it's no, no, I, let, 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 focus with I me. Men who, focus with me. I, I, the, I think. Focus yeah. with me in the homosexuality. If your God. I, I don't. I don't really. I don't really. To be fairly honest, I personally do not really see it as wrong. I, I, I see people born as homosexuals. They have the right to do what they want. Well, I, I, for me, I don't agree with that. I mean, you see, you are a Muslim and Islam is destroying you because simply it's not about right. Uh, I, I can say the same for anything you know, in life. Then I can have the right for fornication too. I can have the right to, uh, to do anything, you know. Uh, so either you, you have are, right. But no, 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 you see, 
either you are a person who believe in God and you believe that right and wrong is based on what God said to you, not what you decide as you wish, not as a point of a view. Well, but let, let me let me say complete it like if, if people are doing it in their house, they shouldn't be over like if they're not showing you, if they're not putting on your face what they do behind their doors. It's I, not, it's like I understand, I understand. But we are talking about uh, God teaching now, not your personal opinion. Same time, well, you say it like being, same, same being, time, same yeah, time, same time. Yeah, uh, a homosexual is way better than any Muslim. They have a better ethic, I believe. They are more decent. They are not taught to do taqiyya like Muslims they do. Muslims they do taqiyya, it's part of their religion. You ask him a question about Islam, he answer anything except the correct and the uh, honest answer. So you might find a gay, you speak to him, he tell you the truth, he don't lie to you. He's a gay. So one, which, who, which one of you is better? You, you, you claim that you are better than them, you are not. Well, but in, in Christianity, punishment for gay is death, right? But for The Muslims, punishment, death, yes, the punishment in the Bible is death. But the question here, the question I'm asking you, how come if somebody did fornicate with the women, she is not married, the punishment is way more severe from someone is fornication with a man, man fornicating with a man. Why? What is the reason? Yeah, because if they want the like, women to be more aware of their sexuality, not, not, and that uh, honestly, I don't know. I'm just saying my opinion. But in Islam, I don't know why. I will tell you why. Because Muhammad himself is a homosexual. And Muhammad himself, he was trying his best to make it like a light punishment. And then when the Jews and the people around him, they start wondering what kind of a person he is. Uh, uh, always there is a homosexual. If you read my book, Sex on Allah, you will find all the reference that all Muhammad family, none of the reference I give in my book is from my own. All of it is Islamic sources. All of it. His own killer, Omar, everybody. The whole town. Those Arab, they were obsessed with homosexuality. And this is why Muhammad, he did not go in a in a like an aggressive way because simply the whole his the whole community are homosexual. If you go to Saudi Arabia right now, there's a video I translated many years ago from a Saudi doctor. She worked in the uh, the the Air Force of Saudi Arabia, uh, Army uh, Air Force Hospital. She mentioned how massive the number of homosexual in the city of Jeddah. This is a city. But, uh, few, kilometers, few kilometers away from, from Mecca. <coughs> anyway, we are here to advise you. Don't think about yourself. Yeah, about, oh, okay. <coughs> don't think Islam make a better family value. This is a big, big fat lie. Muslim women, they cheat a lot. Muslim women, they lie to their husband. I, 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 I would not agree. I agree. I, 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 I agree. When I was and, I was in the Middle East, I have to unblock my phone so I can't sleep. Honest to my honest to the Lord, he's my witness. I have to unblock the phone. I don't know even who's calling. They keep calling. And all of them they are married women. The more the country is conservative Muslim, the more pervert and act and cheating is all over the place. You go to Saudi Arabia. The Saudi they go to uh, uh, to uh, to Thailand. He asks specifically for a driver who is homosexual. Why? He tell them because I don't want him to do anything with my wife. But the reality is he want to sleep with him. So they show him the first picture. He said, "No, no, I want good looking one. This is not, you know." <laughs> I mean, shouldn't you choose the ugly one anyway? <laughs> so he chose uh, the nice looking guy to be his private driver. And the benefit of having a homosexual driver, if I do something with him, he will not go to the police because there in that country, it is haram. You cannot report such a thing to the police. You will be the first one to be arrested. But if he sleep with the women, 
she might have a son, a baby, she expose him, he be in big trouble. So the wife, she will leave him, she will be upset sleeping with the maid. So now he have a driver. He can come to his house anytime. He can go to his inside the door anytime and nobody will suspect anything. It's a, it's a man, a man with the man. So the Middle East is extremely corrupt. Drugs, hashish, you know, prostitution, uh, uh, even there's even their dancing is horrible i mean i never saw a disgusting sexual dancing i mean even in the west there is there is some trashy dance you can see it in youtube but when you see the islamic country dance you will ask yourself those people even they are using the word allah when they dance they say allah 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 but when you look what they are doing you will go crazy if I type one word now, I'm not going to play any video because it's disgusting, but I will, I'm going to show you. <clears throat> and you will notice that women who they are doing those things are, they are wearing hijab. They are covered. They are not uh, like exposed, uh, you know, naked. No, no, no. They are, they are really conservative Muslim women. You know, they are, they are decent Muslim women, brother. You know, hijab is important. Hijab is way more important than any of this. This is the Middle East. All their dance is nothing but sexual. Literally sexual. This is, this is have nothing to do with the music. The woman she sleep in the floor. Her butt is up, and then a woman she come from behind her and she grab her and she start moving as a man doing her from behind excuse my language this is the middle east and those are the muslim women who they are wearing hijab and burqa so so when when to be fairly honest this this is where i disagree to you i'm not yeah if you start certain things fine, but i'm talking as a whole uh, my so, friend, like, I'm not saying know, as a, like, as, I'm not saying as a, I'm, my friend, I'm not saying as a whole, as a small, as a bowl. I'm saying that Islamic society is extremely corrupt. This is your Islamic society. Go there and see. You never been, maybe you never been there. Prostitution, drugs, hashish, <laughs> betchabazi. If you go right, if you go right now and type in YouTube betchabazi, you will see the Taliban, the most conservative Muslims. They bring a boy, little boy, they dress him as a girl. And they made, put him makeup on him. And they start touching his ass. They start molesting him. In, in, and they record it in the camera. They are not even ashamed. It's a very popular thing they do in Pakistan, in Afghanistan. Those are the sheikhs. Bachabazi. If I type right now, Bachabazi. <laughs> Oh, Those are the men who watch it, huh? I'm talking. I'm talking about women. Are are Arab, like Muslim women tend to be? Those are Arab. Arab. Those are Arab. The one I showed you. Those are Arab. None of them is not Arab. Who said those are Arab? Those are Arab. I'm not talking about Pakistan now. Those are Arab. The one, the videos I showed you on the screen. Those are Arab women. This is in the Gulf. Those are not. In Afghanistan, don't you see the guys wearing dressing Arab clothing? No, no, but a lot of these women were like uh, trafficked. What traffic? Those are local. Those are not made to bring them from Indonesia. Those are local women. Those are I'm local people. My friend, just give me a break. I mean, yeah, you know, just think as you wish. The Middle East is the most corrupt. Their judges are corrupt. Their leaders are corrupt. The police is corrupt. Even the garbage collector is corrupt. I, I, my course. friend, my friend. Yeah, no. Middle East, Middle East. You don't tell me Islamic society. You don't even have a society. No, no, no. Look, listen, listen. <clears throat> I agree that the men do a lot of evil things. Like no, no, not the run. man. Not the man. Your prophet himself is the most big pervert ever. He told the man he can sleep with his wife. They told the man he can sleep with the maid. He did everything. He told the man he can sleep with the child. He told the man you can light your wife. <coughs> he told the man everything wrong. So don't tell me the man he can do things like the, oh, this bad man. No, no. This is bad religion. They are following the steps of Allah. 
Is it the Quran says, All of those they bring they bring those maids from Indonesia and they rape them. And why? Because the Quran says, And there's tons of fatwas that a woman you pay for her salary, she work for you. You have the right. Yeah, she yeah. Is, the men are men are pretty you know disgusted, but I'm talking about Muslim women. My friend, Just Muslim women, those are Muslim own. women too. Those Indonesian women are Muslim women. There's 1,200 women Indonesian made they are missing. Nobody can find them in Saudi Arabia. Indonesia, in certain time, they stop sending any Indonesian females to, to Saudi Arabia no more. They bring those poor women from Indonesia. They are poor people. They are looking for work to bring, to provide to their family. They bring them to Saudi Arabia. They rape them. The whole family rape them. And then when the woman she get a breath that she will report into the police if they find out they take her they dump her they kill her in the desert and then they report that our mate she stole our money and run and that's it like the, uh, like look at your own like uh <coughs> say agent bolt he commented that uh, in the news that most of them were raped cool. when rape is like against their will so i'm saying like women they were not involved in it i'm saying muslim women just i'm not talking about that they are that they're not forced. They're usually forced to do those activities. Now, my friend, so you are focusing in for Muslim women. Uh, Muslim men, they are raping yes, them. So yes, Muslim, yes. Oh, hold on, hold on. Just, just to show you how stupid what you are. I'm not calling you stupid, but what you are saying is so stupid. Because Muslim men, when they rape, those are children of Muslim women who taught them good manner. So why the Muslim man, he rape a foreigner made, but he don't, are you saying to me they will not rape a local? No, they will rape a local if they could. But those poor people, they are an easy target. Same time, who said to you that Muslim women in the Middle East, they don't sleep around? Number one product in the Middle East is virgin again. They go to, to different country to make virginity surgery before get married. They have sex non-stop with everybody. There's a, there's a video of a woman she converted to Islam. Her name is Foxy. Anyone remember her video? This woman, she is a stupid Canadian woman. She converted to Islam. And then she noticed how hypocrite Muslims are. If I play the video for you, everything she said is absolutely true. And she's a Muslim, by the way. How Muslim men, they sleep with everybody. How Muslim women, they take it in the wrong location. I'm not going to say the word. She has a filthy mouth. How women, they do everything and then she's virgin again. She exposed the Islamic society. Let us see if I can find her name is Foxy. <clears throat> All right, you can take your next guess. I'm gonna eat my liver. I mean, not my liver. Beef liver is cooked. Yeah. I'll be back. I'll just I'll I'll just listen to the, the stream. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, but my for, but my like, friend. You know, but but my friend, don't, you know, I'm not trying to put Muslim and the women down. For sure, not all women are the same. But the Middle East, women, men. I mean, do you think really a society corrupt, only men corrupt? There is no way. No way. The society is corrupt. Everything is corrupt. Women, men. But doesn't mean everybody is a garbage. No, that's what I'm saying. But the corruption there is a massive. I mean, this, um, this, this the Western country is a billion time more decent you can't even yeah, corruption it. wise corruption wise i agree that Western no no, no. when i say corruption like... when i say corruption mean everything family business uh, uh uh companies any anything you name it everything even the meat you buy from the butcher they sell you a beef but it is a the meat of a donkey you can yeah, even... yeah i i read that story even dogs sometimes like the yeah. dogs they were selling as meat of uh, of a uh, goat in Pakistan, I, and they found like uh, people were stealing graves and use, using the meat of, from the grave and selling it as goat meat. In in Algeria, in, in Algeria and Morocco, the uh, when a, when a woman she is uh, 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 she died, she is young, she is like fifty or fifty five or less. Uh, her family they have to. Uh, send guardian to the grave for the first 10 days otherwise uh, uh, young men they will grab her from the grave and they will rape her when she is dead you can search it it's all over in egypt i, I know i know that yeah 
in Egypt. By the way, there's Islamic fatwa. You can have sex with dead women in case you do not know. You can have, you can even eat them. You can eat a human being in Islam. And you are telling me Islamic society. <laughs> so in Egypt, guys, talking about women. in Egypt, they do what they do. Young men, they go to the guy who is in charge of the freezer. They ask him if there is any young dead women, she is pretty. Imagine how filthy. So he rent them the dead body for like an hour or two hours or 10 hours, depend like when they are going to bury her. If the body, nobody knows who is she, like sometime a woman, she fell in the street, she died, nobody know her, they shouldn't have ID. She might be, you know, there for uh, 10 days, maybe two weeks, maybe if, uh, they bury her, nobody knows she. So they, they, they come to this guy and they rent the women for sex. They rob her from, the, they take her from the back door of the hospital at night. They have sex with her. She's dead. We are talking about dead people. And you are telling me Islamic no, no, no. society. Yeah, but the poverty, like Brazilian society, is kind of similar. My friend, but South you American. see, but you see, you see, uh, what I what I don't like about you, you said Islamic. Can we say Brazil is in uh, those? They are Christian society. They are not. I mean, they go naked in the street in their festival. Is that correct? Can somebody? Yeah, can somebody? Fair. Can somebody almost wear nothing? Claim to be Christian? Is that what the Bible teach? So those are pagan. They're still pagan. Nothing changed. <clears throat> Most of South America, you know, they are still suffering from their nakedness. Nothing changed. They are pagan. They believe in superstition, etc. But Islamic society, who especially in the Middle East or like Af Af Pakistan, Afghanistan, it is the most corrupt, bad, disgusting. We can't compare. All right, my friend. All right. All right. Well, uh, see you then next year. All right. <laughs> All right. <coughs> yeah, they think that Islamic family, you know, Islamic family have a value. What value? What value? There's no value. I remember I was a kid. Our neighbor, she came to visit my mom. She said to her, good for you. You can sure you can be sure you will eat the food you are cooking. Uh, my mom, she said to her, what do you mean? She said, I'm, I have a problem with my husband. He might divorce me today. So the food I cook today, I might not even to eat it. He will kick me out. Imagine. She's not sure she will eat the food she just cooked. Her husband is angry from something. He might divorce her. Where is the family value? If you have a family, you don't do that. 